Okay, so Lattice Semiconductors makes something, uh, makes a uh, FPGA evaluation board called the Ice Stick. And there is an open source project that will, uh, that has um, a binary file available for this guy that turns this into a, uh, a USB um, logic analyzer. And it's 16, 16 channels, 96 megabits, uh, mega samples per second, something like that. So, yeah, let's make ourselves one of those and we can um, uh, use it for doing some debugging. Okay, so I have got the um, logic analyzer all finally configured. And um, there was a bit of work in order to get it running on Ubuntu. Um, and um, let me just run through a bit of all of the things that I had to do. Anyways, um, for one thing, we had to, first of all, burn the, um, well, first of all, downloading the, uh, the software um, was pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, there's a uh, download link here download the uh, the bit file it's just a binary file and then you need to um, somehow write that onto your um, onto your ice stick now you could download the software from diamond and or from uh, lattice semiconductor I did that um, haven't started using it because the first thing that they asked me to do was to um, give them my Mac address with the machine I was going to run it run the software on in order to get a license key and it takes time for you have to set up an account and register and blah 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 blah. So um, uh, while I was doing, uh, while I was waiting for that, I looked at a, um, a different open source project, Project Ice Storm. And Project Ice Storm is an open source um, tool chain for the ICE40. And inside of that project comes um, everything that you would need in order to do development on an ice stick. Now, I haven't gotten into that at all, so I um, can't really say what um, all of this is about. But what it does do is it gives you something called IcePROG, which is a simple tool for burning firmwares onto um, one of these Lattice um, ICE40, ICE40, uh, the LXPX family of devices. So using that, it was possible for me to burn um, the binary file that I downloaded from here onto the um, ice stick. Now, um, as always with Ubuntu or any Linux distro, you need to configure um, your uh, what do I want to say the UDEV rules so they give you the UDEV rules that you need in order need to use in order to um, in order to uh, have that recognized on important or plugging and unplugging the device and uh, once you do that and you plug the ice stick in it's a pretty simple matter for building so yeah it's just a, a simple matter of um, of doing, uh, what is it, uh, uh, let's see, I think the command was, was like dead simple, it was, um, where did I, ice prog, and then the file name of your binary file, and it writes it to your, to your ice stick, so dead simple there. Where it got a little bit more complicated was trying to get um, the Python programs to run properly. And in order to do that, there was a bunch of mucking around. Well, first of all, there is a couple of Python scripts, bdserver.py, and um, it is a back-end server that runs in order to connect um, TCP over serial. So, um, just knock the microphone all over Sadie. That's just fine. Um, uh, the first time you run it, it um, creates something called its bdserver.ini file, and inside that bdserver.ini, seriously, 
Um, it's going to create something that looks like this, and so you have to tell it what USB port is uh, your stick is plugged into. So, in my case, it was TTY USB one, and then that allows you to start up your your BD server. Um, I have it running in a different window, but anyways, once you got that running, then it is running your. Um, oh, um, I should mention there's a couple of other things that need to uh, get installed. Written using the Pi Game Library, but it also uses the um, Serial Library. Now, there's some installation instructions here, which are applicable to Mac, uh, or sorry, uh, to Windows um, implementations. So. Yeah. First of all, you have to program the FPA, FPGA, done. Um, in Windows, you have to put a device driver in, then you have to put Python in, and then PySerial, and then PyGame. And so that's just pip install um, uh, PySerial, and then pip install PyGame. And that, that will install those two packages for you. Um, and in order to program it, if you're using the um, Diamond programmer from Lattice, it gives you instructions on how to do that. So if you're running that, and then configure the device driver if you're in Windows, and then uh, where are we here? Yeah, installing PySerial, so pip install and pip install, and that gets you both of those things. And you download your, then you download your two um, Python scripts and run those. So Python bd server.py, and then that'll create your any, and then you give it the if it if it can't auto detect the serial port that your um, program, your uh, ice stick is on, then you have to give it a serial port num serial port to work from, and that's on that uh, that I should just showed you. And then the next thing you do is you run SumPy. Now, I had to make some changes in the uh, SumPy. Um, it's looking for an any file as well. I just created um, a blank one. Um, because I didn't know what to put in it and started running it. You can put things like configuration um, settings in there if you want to start it up with certain configuration. Do that, um, probably. I haven't figured that out. I just got this thing running. Um, and then the other thing that I needed to do was, was not finding its locale properly. So, um, um, so basically I just um, edited. I edited the locale here. I could probably do something different where I have an alias set up because this used to be just simply English, but um, in um, in Ubuntu it has a bunch of different locale settings, so you can change locale and depending on where your um, where your computer moves to. So, anyway, it's just um, what line is that? Um, line one thirty eight. Um, set it to your locale, and that will um, that will make it run. And uh, yeah, and so when you do that, it uh, you get. Um, did I just kill the server? Yeah, I did. TC, or wrong USB port. I plugged something else in, and that changed the ports, and I unplugged it, so, uh, okay, now, let's try this again. Okay, so that's more like it. When you run it, you should see this, and so this will be, you know, got all these four, um, checks that it does, and then now, when you start up your sump 2, it will start with no errors, and you will get this. And then um, you've got a 16-channel um, logic analyzer uh, for 25 bucks plus shipping, which isn't too bad. Now, this doesn't have any protocol um, an analyzing in it. It's just looking at the signals. So um, if you want something that is a protocol analyzer, Salier. Um, they are, uh, plus um, the, the back end software, which is SIGROC. And uh, there, um, there was some um, posts that I saw about porting um, this, uh, this Black Mesa over to SIGROC, but they use a different communication protocol than other serial port analyzers, so there would be some, some layer of software that needs to be written uh, between SIGROC and the output of this. It uses something called run length encoding in order to make a fast communication across um, serial so that um, 
and there and there isn't a RLE um, driver on uh, the SIGROC so that's not there yet but if you just need to see lots of signals or if you have a nice stick kicking around you can make a logic analyzer out of it. Okay so how you use the software is you say which of the lines you're going to be looking at and then do you want to look trigger on a rising or a falling edge and then um, you go acquire and then it will acquire and if you don't have a signal on that line you don't have a signal on that line um, what you'll get is waiting for trigger here and then you just have to stop it but this is a something I captured and then you've got things like cursors if you um, launch the manual it um, in your in your uh, terminal that you ran the program from it'll pop up uh, user manual it seems to be a fairly functional little um, piece of kit for free software and 20 bucks so yeah, there you go. That's a quick rundown on that with a few of the um, hurdles that I have to um, overcome in order to get it running on Ubuntu. But um, yeah, I hope you have fun with that and thanks for watching. Bye for now.